Well, anytime that you have the availability to be able to do live science, real science, science with scientists, science in a laboratory, that's the exciting piece. So the most important part was to learn something new. Um, I heard about this through our uh, county outreach, um, and I was able to uh, apply and lucky enough to get in. And I was excited about the fact of working with scientists in a real laboratory setting and working on real science, something that may be used in the future, something that may not. Um, the lessons learned, though, is that it is exceptionally slow. And science is a slow business, and that's exciting to know. So um, I'm excited to have been a part of it. I saw the opportunity to beef up my science knowledge. I teach middle school STEM and high school engineering. As an industrial engineer, I've got the engineering, I've got the math, and I've got the technology. But engineering and science sometimes are two completely different beasts. And I wanted to get more into the science side so I could support the science teachers as well as the math teachers. Well, I was excited when I was picked, okay, because I got to come to nerd camp. And we've been looking at the, the wire that's used for the 45 Tesla magnet and why is it shearing? So that's, we've been doing the research into where is the shearing occurring. And it's just exciting to know that I'm doing real research and not something to keep me busy for six weeks. And, and it's just been the best and the greatest experience that I, I could imagine having. I come from a science background um, originally, so I, w I didn't come to science until about uh, 2008 when I got my science credential. And uh, so my background was not in chemistry or physics, so when I came to the table um, here, although I had been teaching science for almost 10 years, I didn't know how a laboratory really works. So I got to learn things like how to work in a glove box, which is where all of the samples are made, how to prepare samples, how to actually even create things such as test tubes and um, how to seal those test tubes under vacuum. It was, pretty, it was pretty intense for the first couple of weeks because the learning curve was so steep. Uh, but once you get into the groove of actual learning the science of it, um, then you start looking at, oh my goodness, I actually can start seeing the results of my experiments and I can process them. I worked with multi-million dollar uh, instrumentation that I would never have the opportunity to work with any other place. This has offered me an opportunity to work with that equipment that I can share with my students in the future. It's going to be pretty exciting. Engineering one, I give them a research paper, but all the other classes, it's just hands-on projects. This summer has made me less afraid of the research component, and I'm going to incorporate that with their projects, that some of that research they're gonna to have to be responsible for so they can have that self-discovery. And I think sometimes learning is better that way. I think the most important thing I learned is that I'm going to lead through inquiry. That I'm going to teach not for the correct answer or for the correct solution, but for the process and procedure of the science itself. And that they can ask the questions of science as opposed to me looking for a right answer. That it's the, it's the package of science that we think that there's always a right answer, but really what science teaches us is how to ask the right question. And I think I'm going to take back to my students that process of science.